A recurrent neural network is nothing more than a pipeline of vector transformations. And so the goal here is to see how the one-hot vectors for characters move through an RNN system of matrices. Imagine that we have two words in our training set and that each is one-hot encoded. We'd like an H vector for each word in the training set and we'll compute each vector through a series of matrix vector multiplications. The first partial result, H1, is the addition of two vectors computed from applying matrix W to H0, the zero vector, and applying matrix U to the one-hot vector for letter C, the first word of cat. The output of the RNN is H3 for cat. And then we run that vector of length 4 through a final matrix to convert it to the output vector of length 3, called O1. Next, we calculate the loss and use PyTorch to update the model parameters W, U, and V in the direction that will lower the loss computation. H is not updated as part of this gradient descent operation because it's a temporary value and not one of the model parameters. Notice that we reset H to the zero vector at the start of every word, but we update W, U, and V at the end of a word's computation. Then, we move on to the next record in our training set, SHA, the French word for cat. Again, we run through all of the character vectors, one by one, until we reach H4, the final output of the RNN. We then run H4 through the final transformation to get O2. For this last record, we compute the loss and update the model parameters. That means we've completed all records in the training set and have therefore finished an epoch.